Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So today is uh, quite an adventure, if you can say that. I'm gonna do uh, a piece with a faux pillow. So I'm using this black. Uh, it's um, it's Amsterdam oxide black and some uh, golden fluid oxide black. And here is my Pepeo Iridescent Blue Green. It's gonna go under the pillow. And this one is a rose gold. I tried to make one my own. It's Amsterdam Light Rose and Quinacridone Rose. And then I used some um, Iridescent Copper from Pepeo and Dark Gold from Amsterdam. And that's White and Gold CA. And I'm gonna try and see if I can show you how to, to check your CA if it's working. So it's difficult to see here. I'm gonna freeze the, the video in a little bit. Yeah, can you see the dots there? That's the Australian Float Troll working. And then I'm gonna use some boom jars, a black and a watermelon. And then I'm gonna cross my fingers. So. I'm aiming for a simple piece with a lot of negative space and if you know me that's not what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm I'm not sure how much pillow I'm gonna use I'm gonna use and I'm not sure how much colors underneath the faux pillow. Oh yeah, and here's my stone piece solution. I bought a pizza stone and I uh, taped it on top with some duct tape because it's yeah it's three four centimeters bigger than my spinner so I hope it's gonna resolve my issue for now with spinning 30 by 40 this one is a 30 by 30 so of course there's no problem with that so here I'm using a spatula I think it's called to stretch out the colors underneath the faux pillow. I'm not sure how thick a layer I'm supposed to use, so I'm just gonna put something on there. Both the rose and the and the pepio. And then at, at some point I uh, I decide to use some Amsterdam pearl violet as well. I don't know if that was a bad idea, but hey I did it. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have because I actually wanted a black piece with a little bit of color and a lot of lacing and cells. Yeah, here's the the Pepe, no the Amsterdam pearl violet. I'm just drizzling it on top of the other colors. And there's my faux pillow. I'm gonna spread it out, um, hopefully in a thin enough layer, because. This piece is inspired by, by Jessica Winterstrom from Winterstrom and she is amazing with this technique um, and she does a lot of scoop and drag as well so I'm hoping that my faux pillow is thick enough so the piece is primarily black and then I'm gonna swipe on top of that with a little bit of color and then when I scoop and drag, if I go below this faux pillow, I'm going to take out some of the colors I just layered underneath. So that brings me back to the pearl white because I didn't want any white except for the white CA. So maybe it was a really bad idea to add some um, some pearl violet because it it looks white when you look at it and then the pearl, pearl um, no the violet violet is gonna shimmer through in angles you know but for the eye it's gonna look primarily white so I think that was a bad idea and I had some issues later on with a lot of white but you're gonna see that so I'm just gonna lay down some CA on the palette knife. Um, 
I've tried swiping before with CA on my palette knife and I tend to use a lot. So I get big blobs of CA. But uh, I think it was working fairly good. And here I'm using the black boom gel. I actually didn't use the watermelon at all. So I'm, I'm having an idea. I'm going to try and make a piece with faux pillow black. And then um, just one color underneath a blue of some sort. And then the watermelon boom gels along with the black boom gel. So here I'm swiping at an as you can see there's some dots of color from underneath the faux pillow that is uh, breaking through. I didn't pay any attention to it at this point, but later on I was really unhappy with them because they just grew bigger and bigger and I tried to to do something about them but they kind of took over I feel feel like so I guess it's the it must be the air bubbles from my faux pillow bursting and then letting the colors through in dots and here I'm trying to scoop and drag a little bit uh, adding some more gold and white CA without color um, and I could al already there tell that this is going to be a busy piece not a lot of um, negative space because when I start spinning out the aim is that the black is going to go all the way to the edge so as Jessica Winter strumming one of her videos, she said, so if you take your area of swiping and look at it, and then you triple it, that's how big it's going to end up. And uh, my triple up <laughs> was covering the entire canvas. <laughs> so no negative space for me today. But now I have a starting point and I know what to do different. Um, I felt like the black here was not even, you know, it was almost diagonal across the canvas and then two very large areas of white. So I tilted it out a little bit and tried to, um, yeah, you know, get the black furthest to the edges. And here I'm adding some paint on the corners for it. I wanted it to go over the edge easier. I don't want it to get stuck. And that has been a problem for me that the paint is kind of stuck and that it was, it's the pillow that, that does that. So this pillow, I actually gave it a big squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium. So here I'm looking and thinking, oh my god, there's a lot of uh, big round blobs and there's a lot of white in one area. So I try to fix it, if you can say that, with a, another swipe. And yeah, I'm going to swipe a little bit more and try to cover up some, some white dots. Um, before I spin it, this out further. So I think I'm gonna shut up now and put on some music and uh, you can enjoy the rest of the video and I'll be back and talk a little bit later. Enjoy!
So here I'm checking the amount on, left on the canvas. I felt like there was a lot in the middle and I could see that for sure there was a lot of movement in in the middle part and not that much in rest of it. So even though I decided, I actually liked the way it looked, but I decided to tilt some of that extra paint uh, down to the corner and hopefully I can live with that line it's gonna give because I, I don't want it to crack either so I felt I had to. Back to the music. Let me bring you in for a close-up, you guys. So what do you think? I'm fairly happy with it. It is the first attempt in a very long time. I've tried it once before, maybe yeah, over a year ago, and I really didn't like the result, so I haven't tried it since. But this one I like a lot better. I have some blue cells holding up and staying small like that and some places they grow and there's some beautiful lacing both with white and gold sea as you can see i believe i have some pearl violet there and that line sorry there that line I made it because I could tell that I had a lot of paint in the middle, so I had to tilt it out and make that line. I don't feel like it's um, ruining the piece. I know it's not a linear piece, but and it's kind of divided in two, but because there's some lacing here in that white spot, I actually don't feel like the line is uh, splitting it up and making it look out of balance so what do you think guys have you ever done a faux pillow um, if you haven't seen Jessica Winterstrom's channel please go and check her out she's amazing with this and um, big shout out for her yeah I'm gonna run now and I'm um, if you like this video I hope you're gonna give it a thumb up and please leave a comment if you feel you have something to tell me and uh, yeah, stay safe till next time. Bye.